Hello everyone, today we will discuss about how we can create a deep, stable sitting position. It can be just a regular back squats, front squats, beginning of the pool, doesn't matter which one. Of course, overhead, barbell overhead, overhead position. <laughs> not like that, not like that, not somehow like that, so we can sit stable. We can dance under the bar, we can do everything. And today, I will show you one of the best exercises how we can create it. Difficult exercise, what we should to make slowly but surely, step by step, but very useful exercise for kids, for adults, and every type of sport. It will be just one exercise, one very simple exercise, without big weights, it's just regular overhead, walking in deep sitting position or ducks walking mostly very simple if you want to sit down with barbell overhead we just to make make a sitting down with barbell overhead but not about that today so ducks walking goose walking doesn't matter how you can call it however you want so that's how it looks like always hold back arms elbow straight back hold or everywhere everywhere every step we have deep sitting position and back chest always up and of course we'll start discussing about how we do this exercise technically because many kids many athletes with who i work who i train they do this exercise absolutely not correct first of all they sit down with relaxing back fully but nothing wrong with that first time when we just start this exercise the next part they walk like that this absolutely do not make sense of course i hold here arm straight but mostly when people start they hold like that like that like that like that but not straight so make sure first of all that you hold arm straight and then sit down first time you probably you 99 that you will sit down somewhere like that or like that or like that by the way this exercise with the beginner for the beginners this exercise is absolutely enough to make with stick pvc pipe or very light kids barbell it's absolute it is absolutely enough so first of all this first of all stance it is like your shoulders wide it's absolutely enough barbell usually we hold snatch grip you can walk with closer grip absolutely okay with that it will be just a little bit more not way more difficult let's be honest so hold barbell overhead lats together elbows locked as usual chest up diaphragm up abs in glutes backwards and sit down the same position overhead not like that that's how you will definitely mess shoulders with bigger weight so make sure that you hold barbell with chest like a table and let's walk not just walking like snail no we must stand up a little make a step and sit down stand up a little step sit down step sit down step sit down stand up sit down stand up sit down that's how it must be let's talk about feet when we make a step we step not on the toes we step on flat feet on heel step on heel stable we always must feel stable position stable stable about chest lats and back in deep sitting position hold them every time every step the same statical position straight line always always 
move only legs. That's how it must be. Lats always together, always squeezed. Make sure that you do it correct. First time when kids or young athletes or beginners, doesn't matter, kids or adults do this exercise, they start walking like that. And it's nothing wrong with that. First time it's nothing wrong, especially when stick when overhead is only stick. Just every time when you walk, pay attention, pay attention on holding your back as straight you can. First time for someone, this will be as straight they can because this is their straight back. So pay attention on that. Just keep walking up and down, up and down. Stable. We must feel stable, deep position, even like that. And step by step, back will become stronger, 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 and last will be stronger as well. And in the future, you will have normal overhead walking position. This exercise mostly we use like a warming up exercise because it is very good exercise for stretching correctly muscles. What we need to stretch for weightlifting, for powerlifting, power lifters if you watch this video don't judge me so much i'm not a power lifter you have specific specific sport and i know that so we stretch our muscles in the right position we tense the back muscles and glutes muscles in the right position for weightlifting and this exercise is useful for weightlifting for powerlifting for bodybuilding because as more you stretch your muscles as more they can grow up this is how it must look like from the side view so whole chest up diaphragma up glutes tensed elbow straight last together sit down as you can see the same position in deep sitting position and just walk up step down up step down up step down not like that Straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. Make sure that you hold your angles correct. And of course, the view from the back. So, hold lats, hold glutes, hold back. Sit down, the same. Hold glutes, do not relax. No, don't relax. Lift chest up, lock your elbows, lock your shoulders. Squeeze lats. Up, down, up, down. Very simple exercise. But at the same time, very difficult exercise. That's how it must be. And on the other way. Around 30, 50 steps will be very good for one step with stick. Working with stick is absolutely another story than working with barbell because of weight center. When we are very stable with stick, only after that we can take a little barbell, very light barbell, 10 pounds barbell, 15 pounds barbell, and step by step go up. To me, of course, I will show you exercise with empty barbell, which is 44 pounds, 20 kilos, but not more. You can grow up with bigger weight in this exercise, put the bigger weight, but always, first of all, you must be sure that little weight you do without any any issues without any problems without any pain maybe only soul pain <laughs> only after when you are sure about one weight you can step step by step little bit little by little add weights now let's show you this exercise with the barbell and then of course shirtless so you can see how back muscles are working and i remind if someone see only ass if you have ass in your head you have ass everywhere where you look if you see only ass it's absolutely not my problem let's go with barbell so let's take a barbell snatch grip barbell overhead whole chest hold lats elbows locked abs in diaphragma up glutes back sit down same position stable 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 position so we can dance and let's walk walk with bubble only 
when you are ready to walk correctly with stick and you can walk backwards if you want but that's another story and the same from here lift up sit down stable position and let's walk up and down up and down stable position that will make very correct position in your snatch in your snatch balance squats everywhere where you lift weights and of course i will show you this exercise shirtless but i will speak less just show you one set so you can see my lats my back so you can see how works glutes of course not naked but i will talk less and then we'll make a conclusion joel hartman if you watch this video this is special exercise for you That's how it must be. Don't forget, always hold back, chest, diaphragm up, squeeze lats. When we sit down and we relax a little back, first time with stick, it's nothing wrong with that. Just walk, walk, just pay attention, then you hold your back as much as you can. And step by step, you will be better. If you cannot sit down, you can start this exercise from a little. Just don't relax your back too much. All glutes, whole chest, and start from that. It will be enough for first time. Just every time, slowly but surely, try get down more, more, and more. How to create pretty fast and pretty high quality deep sitting position. I will discuss about that in the future videos. I read every comments what you write to me, every messages, and I write it down so I will not forget it. So just give me a time and step by step, we all will train with brain. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, put down your comments, your thoughts, your experience. And if you want to support my channel, let me know. We can discuss about that. Thank you very much for watching.